All right, and we are back. Welcome back, Madman, to Let's Play Ghostbusters, Episode 5. I'm Leave, with your hosts, Sally and Graves, and my lovely Jeremiah. And, of course, the kid. Aw, oh, he's shy. Anyway, recently discovered something quite irritating. Apparently, if we leave for a little bit, and come back into the universe, as it were here, the universe of New York, it, apparently time advances without our knowledge. Translation being that it, the checkpoint here actually thrusts us forward like an entire chapter. It's weird. But anyway, we have something we can interact with, and we're, by golly, going to interact with it. <laughs> the toaster. Did we collect a toaster, or did that appear? We, we recently watched Ghostbusters 2, the movie, so... This would be the toaster that they put the goo into and played the music and started dancing around. <laughs> awesome. Anyways, let's see here. They're probably located down below, so... Hey, Slimer, what's up? Plotting his revenge. Or just purple. That works too. <laughs> We can schedule a visit um, next hey, where? Thursday. Oh, right, they're up above. 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Get back up there, kid. Is two of them. Oh, it won't be necessary to call before they arrive. Ah, here we go. Aloha. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History really? Museum. Really? You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer? Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. <laughs> Far but too Our are getting stiffed on invites to opening night. Oh, you guys. Just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. Oh, not you. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. How's it Walter going, Mr. Peck. Peck? I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. <laughs> Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. What's up, Mayor? Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. <laughs> the guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, <laughs> is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please. Tell me that was Gozer. It may have been. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! <laughs> Come on, Jock. Whatever works, What's dude. What's the idea of bringing Prack around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. Oh, dude, that, that's what? not going to work. No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, <laughs> after all the damage not. you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. Come on, now. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, 
the perfect pet for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Yeah, Light that's not going to happen. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Bankman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. All right, all right, okay, bye. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Yeah, you can take your shoe out of your butt now, sir. Goodbye. Uh, Doesn't Pat anyways. look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, does. it could happen. It's a possibility. <laughs> Alright, but before we go, let's go say hi to our good friend Vigo. Yo, Vigo! Now go! Get me out of here, will you? No, no, we can't do that. The time of war is over. Hello, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Huh? Mm, mm -hmm. yeah. No, not advised that you attempt to perform a Peruvian type 5 exorcism on yourself. Oh, dear. But listen, Important listen client, uh, that. once you've tied yourself to the chair, it's very difficult to do that to the cat, even if you could catch it. Oh dear. I am Prince Viggo von Homburg Deutschendorf. I'm Zelian Graves. Two words. I keep it really simple. I see the evil of the times to come. No flying cars. Ever. <laughs> no. Oh, seriously, Vigo. We'll, we'll catch you later. All right, boys, let's saddle up. Ray and I have been talking, and we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay, I'll take one for the team. Stay with Elsa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. <laughs> I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Precisely. We'll just mosey on along to the museum and... Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Grey... Let's get her for real this time. Oh. Oh, good. What about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it going to go today? Um, you know, Winston, this you thing you guys the next time you take a 180 like that. You. you know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat calls and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. Eventually. Perfect. All right, now let's gear up, guys. Probably can't use the super slammer indoors, but let's see what we can do with the regular proton packs. All right, so this gray lady, Big crowd. she's like... Bankman would love this. Captain McMahon from the, the 12th very says first a ghost that the Ghostbusters have encountered, I, I think. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lines out here? Check for valences. Two lines? Hmm. Interesting. Ray, take a look at this. Wow, you gotta be careful. Hey, cadet, you need to see this. 
Spike a big hit. Could be a... Look out! There's Dead one! And hook. Double full torso animators! Come on! After them! You hurt, Stance. Let's move. In we go. Have to keep the proton packs off so there we don't get us sued again. A couple of class five animators. Where? Never what? seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the pack. All right. Take there we go. Hey, he said take nope. it easy. That's Darn not it. easy. Oh, let's get it. Sorry, Z. How about Wait, a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Yeah, sorry. Check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. Hey, cadet. He used the shock <laughs> blaster. It's getting fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting shock blaster? you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. Nice. nice. Immobilization ray. Cool. Aha. A freeze ray. A stasis ray. This has nothing to do with cold, Not technically. but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff? Yeah, there you go. I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. Leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas. You think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here. Yeah, I got it. Oh, poor Egon. Experiment of sleeping 14 minutes a day. I wonder what the side effects of that is. <laughs> Try to pick up a signal, see oh. what's here. We got a strong green reading, yeah? Oh. Wait a second. Jeez, I didn't even see that. Uh, yep. Come on, get it. Can we get it? No. Come on, hurry. Whoa. Nice little dose of ectoplasm there. Oh, here we go. Stay alert. Keep your PKE meter up. Animators can hide in any. Hey! Ugly just shot around that corner. Huh? Crap. Lost the signal. Should be around here somewhere. Hey, Bloodhound, we're up here to your right. Strong emanations, no direct source. Yeah. We followed our guy in here. Ah, I guess. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Yeah, we're still tracking him. Uh oh, here something, comes something big. Oh dear. Now that is a fine example of a level oh, boy. by dimensional. Let's get a scan in there. Yep, class six bi dimensional attractor. Alrighty. Yep, same as the original golem, just now it was. Alright. Well, let's... Uh -oh. Come up on the balcony. Yeah. Yeah. It's Yikes. losing strength. Keep tearing it down. Its power is emanating from a single focal object. Uh, Where is focal point capture it? Come on, kid. Wrangle it away! Get that thing! You got it! Fantastic! There we go. And we have enough for an upgrade. Let's see. Yeah. We can get... Stasis Stream Amplifier. Let's see what this thing does. Oscillating the Stasis Stream's particle flow at precisely 3.14159 gigahertz, has substantially amplified the order reversing particles, hyperbonding capacity, leading to an increased enemy Im immobilization speed, which makes them slower, faster. To pre answer a commonly asked question, being exposed to these order reversing particles affects the user's gender in no discernible way. How? 
What? <laughs> That's a common question. You're really just stupid. I'm guessing. Man, Anyways, how much PK energy must right it along, take to collect yeah. and animate an entity like that? A lot. A lot of very angry energy. What a loss. How easy was that? Wait, right, let's take a so peek, fast. yeah? I'm getting some big fluxes here. I Whoa, her. here we go. Yes! Yes, it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look, there she is! Whoa. Meet us at the oh. stairway door. Darn. Yeah, I'll be there in just a sec. She went down that way! Winston, Got a signal. To see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. Come on, get this thing open. There we go. Woo. <laughs> that thing looks way more friendly from a distance. Try to pick up a signal. I can sense that right off the cover of it. Sheesh. How about a well-oiled painting, right? Let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, circa 1923, Eleanor Twitty, head of the New York Public Library's Special Collections was murdered by her lover, Filio... Philologist Edmund Hoover. When she denied him further access to special collections, Hoover was later revealed as a... Oh, when she... she he killed him when she denied him further access. Hoover was later revealed as an incorrigible serial killer who was... and was executed by the state. Twitty is memorialized as a dedicated librarian that gave her life protecting the books she so dearly loved. Devil? Quite a few of these have uh, disconnections. If anybody out there in the world seeing this knows where to find the rest of it, let me know. Anyway. Oh, come on now, kid. Let's get back and... Oh, up there. Go this way. There we go. Get around the side. And we can get back with the guys. Alright. She shocked us again. That witch. Oh. Oh, no, she's just maintaining her librarianisms. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh. Mind the books. He can't believe she was trying to hit us. Try that. to be quiet. Duh. Oh wow! Uh, let's a full see. stabilizing levitation. Oh, this is good. I'd say we're close to something. Ray, you got something? Most certainly, I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Ah! What? It? Oh dear. Gotcha. Class 4 semi-anchored entity. Alright, let's see here. Dr. Eleanor Twitty was the head librarian of the New York Public Library and overseer of its collection of ancient artifacts, stone tablets, and thought-forgotten parchments. In March 1924, Dr. Twitty went missing. The New York Police Department made every effort to find her, including repeated room-to-room -room searches of the underground library stacks where she was last seen, but she was never found. Alive, that is. Now she wanders the stacks of the New York City Public Library, still organizing books and keeping louder li library patrons shushed with a bony finger to the lips. By most appearances, she was still the same quaint and genteel-looking woman she was in life. Aggravate her, however, and she will transform into a rage-filled horror and heaven help you if you have any overdue books. Oh, goodness. I can just get the feeling. Conan the Librarian. Right there. She keeps shushing us! That's her lady! She's the first ghost we ever hunted! Man, I wish Venkman was. Oh, that's the least of. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Easy now. She's real skittish. Damn. Lost. Oh, boy. Let's go. We'll cut her off. These oh, readings are all ow. charts. Got hit with a book. No charts. Oh, 
Oh, poor Egon. <laughs> Alright, this looks like a good place to save, so to speak. Anyways, we will pick this up in the next episode. See what you find. Thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play Ghostbusters. Episode 5 with your host, Silly and Graves, and my lovely Jeremiah. And of course, the kid and the Ghostbusters.